In this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn a WordPress page into an unformatted page. In other words, everything that you have on your WordPress page will just be as you see it. There will be no formatting to it. Now the reasons you may want to do this is if you want to have the content that you need to change often, you could have it in a WordPress blog and then you can have it framed into your page. It makes it easy to update content without having to change any HTML. All you have to do is sign in and change the page. Okay, so let's go as an example here. Let's add a new page and I'm just going to call this table of contents. Okay, and then in here I'd have my content, whatever it is. And then so on, chapter 2. Chapter 3, etc. Okay, so we'll just... Uh, okay, now... If I go ahead and save this now, let's just publish it. And now when I view the page, of course, here's what it looks like. Now, if you wanted to frame this table of contents into your website, it will frame this entire page into your website. Okay, now let me show you what I mean here. On this website, I'm going to just frame in right here a ta the table of contents. Okay, so we'll get the URL here. Just copy it from above. And then I'm going to go into, this is the sales page backend I saw. It's built with WordPress. So we're going to go onto the page here and edit. And we're going to go to HTML. And then I'm going to put an iframe statement in here. Now you could use a PHP include statement instead. Okay, and you can just go to Google and look up the iframe statement if you don't know how to use it. Let's center it. Okay, now let's update our page here. Okay, now when we go and refresh our page. Okay, so there's our iframe. And you'll see that it is bringing in the whole page into here. Okay, so the way to fix that is we have to create a little a, a new format for our sales page, and I have given you the code to do that. All you have to do is upload one file. Okay, and this is the file that I created for you is called noformat.php. So all you got to do is open up an FTP program that you like to use. I like to use FileZilla. Okay, now on the left side is the file that we want to upload. So I just navigate to it on my computer. I have connected to my site over here. And you can do that with FileZilla by putting in your host name, which is your domain, username and password for your hosting account. Okay, then what we want to do is go to WP Content and Themes. Okay, and then inside 2011, which is the theme we're using here, go inside there. Now you can see, you can verify this by going back to your blog and then going to Appearance and Themes. And you'll see here that we're using 2011. Okay, let's go back to FileZilla. Need to reconnect here. So into 2011, now all we do is upload this no format into here. Okay, now we're going to go back and edit the page. And we'll go in here. Now, inside here, we will find no format. Click on that and update. 
let's view the page. Okay, now you see when we go to the page, we have only the content that we typed in. We have this edit this entry here because we're currently signed in. Okay, so let's go back. Now let's sign out of this blog. Okay, and now when we go back here, let's refresh this page. And there it is. Our iframe content is in here. Okay, so now because of this, you can use WordPress as a content hub. You could put all of your content into a WordPress page on a single WordPress blog. You could have multiple pages. And then you could include the pages onto your other sites. Now I, I here I use an iframe, but you could use a PHP include and there's also some JavaScripts you can use that will bring in the content as well. Okay, so doing something like this is good for when you have pages that you need to change often. For instance, if you have a release schedule for products you put out every month, you can just come into your WordPress blog, update the page as you need, and it'll update on any site that you have included the page on. So it's a very handy way to handle content that needs to be changed often. Okay, so that shows you how you can use WordPress as a content hub.